Hello friends, welcome to my channel Panthusiastic. In today's video, I will be discussing about a new fountain pen from India. So, it is not new, it is new for me. Uh, the pen is Jumbo Pen. The pen is Jumbo Pen from ASA. ASA India. It is a popular Indian pen manufacturer. ASA Galactic Fountain Pen. ASA Galactic Fountain Pen. It is a demonstrator fountain pen, not a complete demonstrator, but it is a translucent uh, demonstrator. And as you can see, uh, uh, I have written the website here that is ASA Pens dot in. So you can if uh, you can have a look on it. If you if, if if you want more information, you can go to the website and you can have more information. And this is a completely non-sponsored video. It is not sponsored by anybody. I have purchased the pen. Um, have uh, uh, whatever I'll be sharing. It's my own experience. So this is ASA Galactic Fountain Pen, and I received this pen in a pen pouch, which is completely made up of cloth material, as you can see. So seems good. I received this pen in this pen pouch. Obviously, it was properly wrapped in uh, bubble plastic, and obviously, it was um, by uh, the, some paper packaging was there. But when I opened the uh, opened the package, when I when I unpacked it, uh, I found the pen in this type of pen pouch. I find it good. Instead of using plastic or any other kind of material, uh, I find it good. I like the I like the like the packaging. So we can easily keep the pen in this type of pen pouch, and even we can carry it uh, wherever we require. So this is uh, this is the this is the uh, you can say the pouch pen pouch in which I received the pen. And this is how the pen looks like. So it is a jumbo pen. Jumbo pen means the size is big, and as you can see that it it, it the di the diameter of this pen is more. Uh, the cap is having even more diameter than the barrel. So barrel is also thick, and the cap is also like thick, but cap is having even a more um, like uh, more diameter compared to the barrel. If I compare it with some of the other big pens. So, for example, if I compare it with Ranga Bamboo model or Canwright Heritage, so you can see that the length is approximately, approximately, not ex exactly, approximately same as uh, Ranga Bamboo model. And this is Canwright Heritage, and you can see that Canwright Heritage is even smaller. But if I compare it with Ranga Model Nine, so you can see that Ranga Model Nine, that is also a jumbo pen, is even lengthier than ASA Galactic Fountain Pen. So I would say that length of ASA Galactic Fountain Pen uh, is somewhere in mid, somewhere between the Jumbo Pen from Ranga and uh, the other traditional uh, fountain pens length like maybe Parker Vector or any other uh, like uh, Twisby Eco or uh, like Canwrite Heritage. So mm, it is somewhere in the mid, not very lengthy but not traditional also somewhere somewhere uh, between that so this is completely handmade pen this is completely handmade pen from india and the cost is around 1600 to 2000 indian rupees so the cost depends on number of factors like which uh, nib you are choosing uh, maybe the shipping charges may be there so cost de depends on different things, but the base price is, I think, approximately sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred, um, probably. But it 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 may be between sixteen hundred Indian rupees to two thousand in rupees. The nib options that are available uh, are medium, fine, and bold, probably. And you can see that uh, I ordered uh, this pen. So that the the, b the bottom of the barrel, the bottom is circular, and the top is also circular the top of the cap so there are two models in one model which is a circular model so both the the bottom of the the barrel and the cap top both are circular but there is another model in which this is completely flat so this is also flat and this is also flat that is another model two models are available um, flat top and bottom and then round top and bottom. I selected round uh, top and bottom. Uh, this is a translucent uh, demonstrator, not a complete demonstrator, but uh, the bottom of the barrel, like some portion of the barrel, uh, is transparent. Obviously, it will not hold any ink, 
the ink will up to here the ink will up to here the ink capacity is very good so if uh, if you if, if you need high ink capacity pens you can think of it and it is a eye dropper pen it is not cartridge converter pen it is a eye dropper pen i didn't got any cartridge or converter with this pen and the length of this pen is uh, so i'm using 15 cm scale so you can see that the length is slightly more than 15 cm it may be approximately 15.1 or 15.2 maybe 15.3 cm and if if i uncap it if i uncap it the length will be approximately i think 14 cm so that's why i said that length of jumbo is much more than this jumbo ranga length of jumbo ranga is even more so it is it will be approximately 16 uh, 16.5 cm so this is less than um, that so let's uncap the pen and see some of its other features uh, so uh, you can see on the barrel that there is some engraving here the brand name asa and the model name is so i hope you all can see the brand name and the model name is engraved here in the barrel so let's let's uncap it so to uh, uncap it i think we'll have to rotate maybe one two so slightly more than two just two completed and slightly more maybe 2.25 rotations approximately and this is how the pen looks like the pen looks beautiful those who like demonstrators those who like translucent demonstrators those who like jumbo pens for them this this pen is a treat now this cap has some some this is what some unusual thing which i uh, find like uh, the cap is having a good diameter as you can see it is it is having a high diameter it is very thick pen but at the top i don't know to fit this clip maybe the design changes so it is not completely uniform suddenly it, the the diameter reduces so this is something which i find not not very attractive uh, but still it's okay uh, but this is this is something which i not find very attractive but maybe to fit the ca uh, the clip on the cap uh, this kind of design is uh, made and so this is the cap and the clip the clip i seems to be i think stainless steel or maybe chrome i am not very sure and the cap is having a very like good it is very thick it is it is having a good uh, like high diameter uh, i think 19 mm so it's written here as you can see that the cap diameter is 19 mm and the barrel diameter is 16 mm so this is 16 mm so the features whatever i have written here they are mainly from their website or some um, and, and and some are measured by me so the barrel diameter is a, uh, is lesser than the cap diameter now the barrel also looks good because of this transparent uh, part here and now let's see the nib so if you see the nib asc logo is engraved here i uh, i hope that you can see and you can find asa so if you can see a then s then a it's written here it's engraved here a s and then a and i have ordered the medium nib so that is also written here I have not ordered any other nib like German nib or anything. This is this is usual uh, ASA nib which I have ordered uh, medium uh, medium nib. If if you want to uh, use any other nib, they can customize it for you, but the cost will increase. So I have ordered the traditional nib which they offer. Uh, that is ASA nib. And this is an eyedropper pen with good ink capacity, as you can see and to fill the ink so because it is an eyedropper we can use this to fill the ink and let's uncap the barrel completely so this was a bit tight uh, even when i received that time when i when i purchased it that time also this was quite, quite tight so if you purchase it you may feel tight when you open this because it is an eyedropper pen uh, i think to avoid any leakage of ink intentionally they have made it like that 
so you have to open it so let's see how many rounds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve approximately so because this is a eyedropper pen because of that maybe they have assured that there is no uh, leakage of ink and anyway we are going to fill the ink and then it's not a regular thing right we we fill maybe after one month or two months so it's fine but obviously it is taking time for this thing that is uh, uncapping the barrel uh, but anyway uh, i think it's fine because the most important thing is that if we get the pen it should dry it. there should not be leakage uh, so that is the that is important what i feel so now i have again put the barrel and now let's see how it writes i think i'll not fill the ink in it i will directly dip the nib into a ink and then we'll see how it writes so i will be using uh, this ink that is uh, from pilot uh, iroshi zuku and i'll be using this color yama budo so this is my favorite color one of the favorite colors i usually i like blue and red so because i am a teacher i use red color a lot i use blue color a lot for making my notes and this is one additional color which i like very much so as you can see that this is yama budo color and otherwise i let let me fill it because let's see how the pen looks like when i fill it from this ink i think it will look good so just to have a look of it it will take little bit of time but still let me show you that how it looks when you actually fill the ink so i'll not fill it completely let's keep this aside and the most important thing is to put the cap on the ink so that I I do not want to lose it lose it even a drop of it and now so obviously it will not take the nib will not take the ink immediately so what I will do is I'll dip the nib also so this is how it looks so if you fill the ink completely it will really look very nice if we fill the ink completely it will really look very nice you can see now that it is a translucent demonstrator and now let's write i think it will not write at present it will take some time so what i'm going to do is i'll just dip the nib into the ink and we'll check its smoothness so this is a s a galactic fountain pen and this is from asa india it is completely uh, handmade pen and uh, the pen writes very smooth undoubtedly very smooth 
the paper quality which i am using today the the, the document that this notepad which i am using today is not of much great quality it is matrix simple notepad um, no information is given about the gsm of uh, what is the gsm of the paper but in fountain uh, pen friendly papers the pen will write even much uh, much better so anyway the pen is writing very good in this paper also as you can see that the pen is writing really wet and it is getting dried also very quickly see it is getting dried very quickly so overall i would say that pen writes smooth asa nib itself is very good asa nib itself is very good and both the downward strokes and the upward strokes are good i have no complaints with this pen so i think i like this pen if you like this video please subscribe my channel please give your comments i think i am making bit long videos this is more than 16 minutes i'll try to make short videos i think i'll have to reduce the length because i am discussing in very detail the length of the videos are increasing uh, i'll try to reduce the length this is much more like 16 minutes is too much but anyway i'll try to reduce this please post your comments on the comment section please subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you